Hello everyone, we're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I'm Lover. And that's when, and today we're talking about the killing of two lovers for our episode of The Streaming Junkies. And this is a film that came out last year and I saw it on a lot of people's pages, like top 10 lists for the year. And I was like, well, we might have to watch that. It's on Hulu. Um, and it's four by three. So we all obviously have to watch I didn't it. notice that actually. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> um, but um, this is a film that follows a couple that is having problems in their relationship and they're taking a split um and there's a new guy with the wife and the kids are like and it's just kind of a family uh, friendly what is it called a family dynamic movie um and i think it's very interesting and it's weird because i can relate to it in some ways not necessarily the dad like wanting to kill the, the i mean maybe i don't know what my dad thinks but just having parents that um are kind of splitting apart and then just the dad trying to connect with the kids so i would really like this movie for that reason but it uh, is a story that doesn't really do much of anything at all. it just kind of just it's basically like a marriage story it yeah just it just kind of just takes place sto- uh, it just takes ba- place it yeah. doesn't even like go anywhere there's not really an end point or even like much of a starting point it really it just goes and i really like that and you don't really know what to think about when it comes to this movie i, I still don't know what to think about this movie because i don't i don't know if this is a personal biography and uh, i really just don't want to trash on anyone it could be i don't know it um from the, it the is writer. directed by robert McCohen, McCohen, um, and he wrote and directed this, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is some, like maybe his dad, maybe yeah, story, something yeah. like that. Um, but it is fun for my three. <laughs> um, but I didn't expect like what we got out of this movie. I I was expecting, I don't know, like I I really don't know what I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be like an extreme like a24 style uh sex movie sort of something like that yeah Yeah, where it's like a married dad it still has that kind of like you know separating Mm -hmm. uh uh storyline it's just i was expecting like the the mom or the woman the 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 ex-wife to be sleeping around or some shit like Mm -hmm. that and like there was some trouble with like court or or custody yeah something like like that that. so but the movie is only it's less than an hour and a half and it just it just plays out. Um, and I like it. I like the aesthetic. Um, I do too. It's a beautiful aesthetic. It almost feels like, in a weird way, like a home movie. It does. And like yeah. I think probably what he was going for. Um, and I do like that there's no like big actors in this. Like they mo- almost everyone in this doesn't have like a standout role. Um, probably and but like I would say this is a standout role. I would recommend this to. A lot of people, honestly. Um, this is what I think. This is what I really think of, like, uh, an indie film should mm-hmm. be. Where it's like... It, yeah. Yeah, it, it just kind of shows a story, and it just tells you um, this is what it's really about. It's not mm-hmm. really any... It's not much of anything. It's not trying to change the world. It's mm-hmm. just this is what they have to go through. I mean, even the daughter in this movie has some issues, and I feel like that's what you would do as a child if your parents did that. So Yeah. I, yeah. It, 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 the one scene that, like like kind of tore me up a lot was when he buys the like the launching rockets yeah. for all the, the kids and stuff and like they each have their moment and then like the girl's rocket doesn't work and i'm like man i literally feel like i've lived that f-ing moment yeah. and it, it hit me to my f- core i wonder what the budget was on this though um probably it, a lot they use a pretty expensive camera it didn't make much at the box office but i'm not surprised it's, it's on hulu they use a red weapon that's uh, ooh. maybe he just owned it, <laughs> dude. If he owned it, man, I, you're rich as f- yeah. Um, I don't know what like where to talk about like if I want to talk about anything about this movie. Like besides just go watch it. If you want like a good drama movie, yeah. this is a good one. Um, because it's like it's not funny in any type of way, which I kind of respect some kind of some movies like this go for like the dramedy type feel, um, kind of like, I guess our friend would yeah. be one. Um, but <laughs> just to bring that one up, I said that's on Amazon prime. And I was like, I, can't I know I was going to watch it. <laughs> um, but this was just like strictly drama. And I just, and this is also in a very specific genre. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like, it's in marriage. It's 
with Marriage Story. It's got uh, it's like scenes from a marriage, stuff like that. It's a very specific genre, and I like that a lot of people really think that this is good. Mm-hmm. I'm glad because I, I, this is some this is a movie that not a lot of people will know about. This is why yeah. we're talking about it. Yeah, it's got a six point nine on IMDb, and it's only got three thousand reviews, and they're most the average is six point nine, but like it's got it's pretty decent. So. Yeah, I, we don't know where to go with this review um, because we we both like it. Yeah, I and mean, it's just like I if you are into the movies that we give high ratings like French Dispatch yeah. and like any A twenty four film, go watch this one. I feel like a lot of people have missed out on it, and I highly recommend it. Um, this movie is dark. Uh, it's got some funny scenes. We never see the dad again, but you know who cares. Um, <laughs> And the ending, dude. I was just like, I whenever it ended, I was like, "That's it." Yeah. I was like, okay. I mean, cool. Like, I I I respect that, but like, damn, it's like you can't. You got to think like what transpired between the climax and there, and like it's just so good. So. And also, I'm not reading too much into it just because I I, the cinematography was something that I just enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Too. The uh, one scene that like, I just loved was when he goes out and like practices with the gun and then like the parallel later. It's it's a, it's a very pretty movie. Um, But like I said, if you like movies that we like, go watch this one. Um, But we'll wrap it up. So we're not just pandering with this. Um, We'll give a rating. We do two ratings, critical entertainment, one being the worst, 10 being the best, what do you say for critical win? A uh, seven. Seven. I, for seven. I like. It. Yeah, it looked great. I love the story or the lack thereof. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the acting was, you know, it was very amateurish. Yes. I hate to say it. No, I, I I get what you're saying, but it kind of fit the part. But it, yes, it was. And it amateurish. feels fresh. Yes. Uh, I, I like the way I, I like the way he directed or whoever the director is. I like the way they directed this mm-hmm. movie. And I was really impressed. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half or critical, and then entertainment value. Oh, uh, eight, eight. I'm gonna have to give this one a ten as well. Um, I was wrapped in. I gave, I guess, spoiler. Maybe I gave Scream a ten. Um, but I'm giving this one a ten. Um, I connected it with it on a personal level, which always is a good like. It's plus five for any score. Um. I started this movie when the guys were around one night and I turned it off because like, no, I think I'm going to actually want to sit down and watch this movie. And I was right. Um, Any movie that can put a story into an hour, less than an hour and a half and it be this good, like I respect it. So that ending was anxiety inducing. It also, I knew the guy was going to not be good. Yeah. I fucking hated that scene. I didn't. I was like, I well, I didn't know where it was gonna go. I was just like, it was uh, loved it. It gave me so much anxiety just him being there, just being like, well, let's talk about this. Like, shut the fuck up, go yeah, back that inside. That so good. Um, but yeah, go watch this movie if you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, that's our review for the Killing of Two Lovers on Hulu. So go watch it. Maybe you've got the Disney Plus package and you got Hulu, or maybe you're a student and you have Hulu. There's plenty of ways you could have Hulu. So go watch it. <laughs> Get Hulu. This is not. We're, not paid, is, to we're not paid, but go watch it. Go watch it. Um, love these shit. But anyways, that's our review. Like I said, thank you for watching another episode of the Streaming Junkies. Like if you enjoyed. Comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. We've been the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I'm hungry. That's when. Thank y'all for watching. We love movies. We love y'all. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Goodbye.